Right, uh, Shalom, I can want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechah Kodash, that belongs to the elders and apostles, a great mills on the real will. Much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing this truth and sincerity and diligence. All right, uh, it's the brother Law Yah from the Great Millstone, Lake Charles, Louisiana camp, coming back again with a quick lesson. And as always, Law will be edifying to the elect. All right, so I just uh, basically want to touch upon uh, Matthew the 24th chapter, man, uh, because through the Spirit, man, you can see that prophecies are uh, continue to unfold. All right, and by way of that happening, all right, uh, we're getting closer and closer to getting up out of here. But before, you know, we get up out of here, man, uh, as scripture, the, the eighth verse says, man, these are the beginnings of sorrows, man, when we see these things come to pass. All right, and ultimately, um, Edom is uh, passing these uh, different uh, laws and, and acts, man. So that, uh, we, we have uh, basically no say-so, all right? They're going to soon come and uh, persecute us, man, and, and uh, man, uh, try to attempt to, to, you know, take us uh, up out of our homes, you know. But through it all, Yahweh Shem is going to uh, deliver us, man, all right? So this is uh, Matthew 24 and 80 says, All these are the beginnings of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you, deliver you up to be afflicted. Right, and they're gonna deliver us up to be afflicted, man. Why? They're passing these laws, all right, to, to uh, have everyone uh, vaccinated, man. And ultimately, they're gonna push that that chip, all right, which is the mark of the beast, man. All right, the RF, RFID chip, man. They're gonna push that chip, all right. It says, and shall kill you, man. You know, and the scriptures and revelations tell you that, uh, you know, some of us might. Have to be uh mortars, man, for your house by Shimmy All right, it says, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake, man, because we're walking after the ways of your house by Okay, we're gonna be hated, man. We're gonna be the main uh, uh targets, man. We're gonna be the main targets, you know, through this, you know. Ultimately, everything that's happening around us is gonna lead up, and, and it is happening for uh, the elect's sake. All right, it says, then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. All right. So all of these things are going to take place, man. We have already been warned. See, we've already been warned about it. It's like, all right, let me go into Matthew the 10th chapter, verse 17. Uh, 16, it says, Behold, I, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. And this is uh, how we're uh, basically uh, subject to being, man. All right? Harmless. See? It says, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. So, before all of these things uh, happen, man, we've already been warned. You know, we've already been warned that... They were gonna do these things, man. That they were they were gonna push this chip, you no. Know? So Yahweh Shai basically gave us um a heads up, man. All right, to be on the lookout, to stay circumspect, to look out for these things before they even happen, man. All right, and, and since we're uh, sent forth as sheep, man, we're not subject to putting things in our own uh, uh manner, our own hands, man. All right, that's why I would, we're gonna let Yahweh Shai fight for us, you no. Know? It says, be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. All right. It says, be, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, man. Just like they did all the other men of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. You know, all the men of old, man, they were all delivered up. All right. It says, uh, deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you. All right. Those are uh, uh, scare and uh, uh, tactics, man. You know. It says they will sc uh, scourge you in their synagogues, man. See? So they're going to uh, uh, try all of these things just to get us to talk and, and spill. But what, man? How about Shemal Shah says, take no thought, man. You see? Hey, hey, don't even worry about what you what you, what you so, shall say unto these people, man. All right? The Lord is going to uh basically put a spirit over us, man. You know? 
a comforting spirit, all right? A spirit of what we shall say, you know, when they ask. You know, and this is why another reason why we're still with uh, as sheep, man. You know, in the midst of wolves. If you look at how Yahweh Shai was when he was uh, delivered up to the councils, man, uh, they ultimately found no fault with them. They found no fault with Yahweh Shai, man. But what he knew that those things had to come to pass. All right. It says, and he shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. Excuse me. It says, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, man. Take no thought, man. Don't try to, you know, uh, or say this and say that, man. Yeah, how about Shemar Shai is going to speak through us, man. You know, the same way we, we are when, when uh, the Lord speaks through us on, on the highways or hedges or when we're trying to uh, convert and win over souls, the, the same in that hour, man. See? It says, damn, kind. It says, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. You see? It says, for it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father will speak it in you. So these things... Uh, will come to pass, man. All right, we're gonna be betrayed, you know, uh, 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 because the scriptures tell you that with all brothers are not brothers, man. All right, so we're gonna have what uh family members uh giving us up, you know, because what they're weak. All right, so called family members they're gonna give us up, man. They're gonna uh uh, uh tell these Edomites uh where we're located at, man. All right, but through it all, you how about Shemal Shah is gonna deliver us, man. It says, and the brother shall deliver of the brother to death, and the father, the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents. Because what ultimately Yahweh Shemal Shah is coming to what set a a, a, a a division, man. All right. It says, and cause them to be put to death, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth until the end shall be saved, man. And this is what this uh this race is about, man. It's about enduring, man. All right. We must endure, all right, to receive those uh crowns, man, you know, to receive that uh salvation. It says, but when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. Verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. All right, yeah, that was enough on, on, on that one at uh, the 22nd uh, verse, you know. But, hey, man, we must go through all of these things, man. You know, everything that's placed before us, man, shows us that uh, we're, we're soon going to be de delivered up out of here. All right? This is Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. That's a lot. Let me go to the uh, book of Acts. All right? This is uh, Acts chapter 7. All right, in verse 52, it says, Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? You see? And they have slain them with shoes before the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. You see? Hey, man, all of our forefathers was persecuted, man, for having this truth. All right? They were all, they were all hated, man. The scriptures tell you, bless this. A uh, 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 man when, when they should speak evil of you, man. See? And, and ultimately, this just uh, uh, verifies that uh, we are the men of the Lord, man, through the Spirit. All right? We're doing exactly what Yahweh Shemiah wants us to do. All right? It also uh, shows us that we have the truth. All right? We have the truth, man. The Lord left us, uh, what, a small remnant, man. And the Scripture tell you that, what, uh, enter ye at the straight gate. All right, it's not gonna be easy, man. Being a man of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, it, it, it's not easy, man. You're gonna be hated. All right, why? Because the uh, the servant is not greater than his master, man. You know Yahweh Shai went through all of these things, so we're subject to doing the same, man. All right. It says, "Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted, and they have slain them with shoe before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers." Who have received the law by the disposition of the angels and have not kept it, 
when they heard these things, they were cutting. Ultimately, this was what uh this was Stephen, man. This when uh Stephen was delivering it to the councils. All right, it says when they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. You see, so when we're delivered to the council, and and they and uh, what Yahweh Shema Shai gives us the spirit, real quick, we jump to uh Hebrews the fourth chapter. Hey, they're gonna be cut, man. Why? This is Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, For the word of Yahweh by Shemel Shai is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, man. So, hey, that that, that spirit is going to be us and we're going to be speaking. And ultimately, they're going to get cut, man. All right? It says, Piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit. So, this is why they started gnashing on him and uh, started speaking uh, uh, against him, man. But ultimately, they couldn't. You know why? They were cut. It says, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of, <laughs> and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, meaning the mind. See, so Yahweh Shemal Shah had Stephen already know, uh, uh, basically what these people were gonna say against him, man. You know, and, and through the spirit, hey, he chopped all that up, man. So we're gonna be doing the same, man, and ultimately we're gonna be found without fault, you know. But we must uh, continue to go through that, man. All right, we must continue to go through it. So back in X and uh, verse 50 and verse 55, it says, but he being full of the Holy Spirit, you see, Stephen was full of the Holy Spirit, man. He had, he had, he had the spirit of Yahweh Shemiah Shai on him, man. It says, looked up steadfastly into heaven and sought the glory of, of the Most High and Yahweh Shai standing on the right hand of the Most High, man. And these are some of the things that are ultimately going to be played out again, man. You know, the Lord is going to uh, deliver us with uh, a divine intervention, man. All right, like never seen before. And ultimately, it all, it all starts with our faith and really believing. All right. So when 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 they was uh persecuting him and, and ultimately getting ready to kill him, and he looked he looked up to the to the heavens, man. And saw the most high and, and, and saw Yahweh Shah on the right hand side, man. You know? So hey, his his fate was boosted even more. Alright? It says, and he said, Behold, I see the heavens open, and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of the Most High. Then they cried out with a with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet, whose name was Saul. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon the Most High and saying, Lord, Yahweh Shai, receive my spirit. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep, man. See? So, he, hey, man, he was killed, man, for, for the namesake of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, man. See, but what man through that? Hey, 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 how about Shemiah Shah still made that escape route, man? You know, the Lord uh, uh showed him, you know, uh, 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 himself and, and Yahweh Shah, man, through and, and through the spirit, man, when he opened the heavens, you know. So they gave uh Stefan uh that 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 extra push, man, to say, you know what, to hell with it, man, I'm I'm gonna die for my power. This is the mentality, man, that uh, we must we we must be in. We must be in, in this, man. You know, the the, the race, man, is it, not over yet. All right, you about to see some some uh, some real real crazy shit happen, man. You know, all of the scriptures that we read, all right, they all gonna come come to life, man. All right, and you see it now, okay. This is John. Chapter 15, verse 18, it says, If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. All right? So everyone is out here to get you, man. Point blank, period. All right? And you must keep this in mind, man. All right? It says, If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. And it's clearly uh, uh, known, man. Hey, that the world doesn't love you, man. You know, it says, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. You see, so 
So don't think for one second that uh, just because you have a friend or a family member that you're close to, that they're not subject to giving you up, man. All right? Because when all hell breaks loose, and, and uh, hey, man, these people are not subject to fasting, man. You know, these people don't trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So don't, for one second, think that they won't be easy and, and uh, ready to give you up, man, just so that they can eat. All right? It says, remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you, man. And we saw how they did Jehoshaphat, man. Although he was found with no fault, hey, man, he was persecuted, you know? He says, if they have kept my sins, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me, man. See? So this basically is the moral of the story, man. All of these things are going to take place because what? They're ultimately against Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. So they're going to be against us also, man. All right. So yeah, man, persecution is at hand. And hey, man, brothers, just fall through with it. You know, just go through with it, man. We we know the ending of our Lord. We know that uh, the Lord is going to deliver us, man, through it all. All right. As the scripture says, hey, be not uh, 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 afraid, man. You know, have have that courage, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is with us whithersoever we go it, man. You know, and Lord willing, we are uh, of the elect uh, to endure. All right, man. So with that, uh, Lord willing, this was edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double eyes to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Ruel. And much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing his truth and sincerity and diligence. Till next time, Shalom. Thank you.